Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And now you can get 15% off of your purchase using my promo code PATRIOT at checkout. So yes, 15% off your order using my code PATRIOT. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. My final Wave 3 Deluxe bot showed up today thanks to Amazon.com. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. And mine is a little beat up. It's tore right there. It's smashed in the corner here, smashed down there, and smashed on this other side. And it's not due to how he was shipped because Amazon shipped him in a box instead of an envelope. It's just this damn Hasbro windowless packaging. I mean, this packaging is so stable and sturdy. I love it. Sarcasm right there. So anyway, you got Transformers here on the side, some great looking artwork of Crankcase in his vehicle mode. Crankcase himself in robot mode, so you can reach in through the windowless packaging, and little Timmy can put his booger picking fingers all over the figure. Lots of uh, wasted space right there. Transformers Legacy on the bottom. This side of the packaging has artwork of Crankcase in robot mode, a full body shot here on the bottom, and a close up of his face right there. Back of the packaging is product shots. You got crankcase in robot mode and vehicle mode and the QR code right there that you can scan to see his bio. And there that is for you if you want to pause and check it out. This side of the packaging features the same legacy artwork we've seen since day one. So now without further ado, let's get crankcase opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Crankcase all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with this vehicle front end that is really nice looking. Lots of sculpted details. You got silver headlights, silver fog lights, and this has a hidden surprise that we'll go over later on. And he has this translucent, smoky, pistol that is the exact same one that you get with legacy skids i hate this one because it's translucent plastic i hate translucent weapons unless it's like an energy sword or energy axe and then of course we've got crankcase himself now crankcase here is a heavy retool of legacy skids and in my opinion a much better figure now these two do share a few parts they have the exact same bicep and forearm, the exact same waist, thigh, shin, and feet. And I also believe, yes, they have the same wheels. But Crankcase just works a lot better. He also looks dead on to the original Generation 1 toy. Down to the collaring and the teal paint applications there on the chest that match the decals on the original figure. And what's cool is Hasbro actually added right here behind Crankcase's head, you fold these down, those are the flip down cannons that the original G1 figure was known for. The G1, of course, was a trigger con, so you had this little button on the back, you press this down, and these little blasters flip up over his shoulder. Man, I miss gimmicks. The ones on the new Crankcase, I wish were a little bit longer but hey, at least they added it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Crankcase himself and his arm just fell off. What the hell? There we go. I'm gonna leave that on. It just wasn't secured all the way. I actually felt it pop right in. 
So yeah, make sure your arm's attached. Okay, anyway, where was I? He's got a great looking head sculpt. I mean, pretty much spot on to the G1. He's got an orange face with kind of a yellow orange visor. The chest there has the blue or the teal rather, some silver highlights and a big gaping hole in the center, which is a throwback to the hole right there with the screw that the original toy had. Moving on down, no more paint applications, but lots of nice molded detail. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, you know, back and forth, do a complete 360, though it does have this big panel on the back. The arms can do a complete 360 all the way around. They can go up, he kind of shoulders himself in the face. They can go up, they can go down. There's a bicep bend, there is a bicep rotation. There's also a rotation right here where that popped off. See how that's pegged in right there? And he's got wrist rotation. I think that's the first wave three that has a wrist rotation. There's also waist rotation right there. Legs can go up, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. Nice deep knee bend and ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for this figure. So now let's check out the weaponry. And first off, We've got the front end of the vehicle right here that, as I said earlier, has a hidden gimmick. It is a blaster. Fold this in down. You've got a couple barrels right there. There's the handle. So there you go. Very hollow on the other side, but I like the details, the multiple details right there. Makes it look like the barrel of a weapon. And what's cool is these are blast effect compatible. If you do have the smaller blast effects like these little squiggles right here you can fit both of those in like so put that in his hand and he's all armed up now what i really think is cool about this you don't have to use the blaster if you don't want to fold that up it's going to peg right into the center of his chest it's going to change up his looks a little bit but there you go and what's cool to me is that's like a hidden weapon say he gets captured by some autobots they disable his shoulder cannons they take away his other blaster and they think oh he's disarmed then all of a sudden surprise mother he pulls out that chest blaster and it's all over so now taking a look at his other weapon showed you that earlier it's translucent plastic just like skids it can fit in his hand as well but it sits up a little high i don't like that for some reason yet i do like attaching it to the port right there. I don't know why I don't like it in the hand. I like it that way better. It is also blast effect compatible, which is cool, but Hasbro really missed the boat by not making the shoulder cannons blast effect compatible. I mean, just one little peg, they would still fit in good right there. But man, that sucks that those aren't blast effect compatible. Oh well. So now let's get into transformation. We'll go ahead and remove the weaponry. And now with the weaponry all removed, go ahead and fold the cannons all the way up to the top like so. Then what you're gonna do is take the legs and squeeze these together. Go ahead and flip down this section right here. And now take the figure and take the waist section and bring it up just like so. It's gonna click into place. I can get it. There we go. The joints on mine are really tight, which is nice. So now he's kind of more dumpy looking than he was before. Go ahead and bring the back section down. You can actually position this two different ways. If you don't like the hood, you can, you can leave it like that or bring it down if you're not a fan of the hood. Bring this down, bring the front of the vehicle up, just like so. Bring the arms down and rotate these in and then take the wheel sections and just flip around now with the forearms there's a little catch right there make sure that matches up to the slot on the forearm there's one there's the other go ahead and shut the doors on the side and now you're going to bring this section up and this little blue section right here you got these little tabs bring this up make sure the blue section goes over the tabs bring this all together 
make sure it tabs in, clicks into place, take the wheels, bring these out, and lastly, take the front end blaster and attach that, and there we have Crankcase in his vehicle mode. And this looks really, really good. Nice, dark, translucent windows right there that really don't look too bad, but you can still see the robot junk there on the inside. Lots of details along the side. You can make out the details there on the door. On the back, he's got the spare tire, and I love the paint applications right there because if you take the original crankcase, let me get him transformed real quick. There we go. So now you have the two crankcases together. Now, of course, the original is light gray instead of black, but look at the paint applications, how well they match. You got the blue stripes, you got the teal with the Decepticon insignia right there. The front end is dead on. And he's got these sticker decals on the side of the vehicle and back that match up to that paint application right there, along with the spare tire. Of course, the original has his head sticking out of the back, so <laughs> that's at least gone. Whoops. But yeah, I think this looks really good and transforms so much easier and pegs together a lot easier than skids. Biggest complaint with the vehicle mode, back with the wheels. You got great looking wheels on the back and these little pegged on wheels in the front that just really take away from the vehicle. So there you go guys, crankcase. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Crankcase, and fellow Legacy Wave 3 Decepticon, Skullgrim. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase is a great Transformers figure. I enjoy this one a lot more than I thought I would. At first, I thought he was just gonna be a basic retool, but man, they so improved this mold over skids. He's a lot easier to transform, everything snaps into place, and I couldn't be happier. The only complaints I have with this figure is the translucent gun, and I really wish they added blast effect ports to the shoulder blasters. I think that would have added so much more to this figure. So there you go, guys. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase. So, does a Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Crankcase belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. This guy right here was the one I was least excited for when they announced Wave 3, and now he's one of my favorites. He's got a great robot mode, great vehicle mode, easy transformation. Thankfully, they fixed the issues with the skids mold for him, and I, I love this guy. I mean, I am really surprised with how well he is. Minor complaints, the translucent weapon and the lack of blast effect ports on the shoulder cannons, but that's no biggie at all. So yeah, you see Crankcase on the shelf, don't hesitate. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now let's hope we can get Windsweeper and Ruckus. I always liked Ruckus. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members, because it is support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!